Hi, Lance here, and I'm about to show you what I think is the best uh, solar power calculator on the web for the do-it-yourselfer. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for some time, but, uh, you know, with my wife and kid here, it's a little challenging, to say the least, to do audio. So my wife is out of town for the weekend, so uh, I'm excited about being able to bring this to you. Um, this calculator is uh, JavaScript based and uh, it took me two weeks to write and uh, of course my wife and child did not hear from me for those two weeks while I hashed out the code but uh, I've got it done and it's up on the web at mysolarsecret.com uh, and I briefly want to go over this with you. Um, as you can notice here on the screen you've got um, a list of load items and this is the number of items or the type of item that you're going to be running off of the solar power panels so what I'm gonna do is just keep this simple and when you click the drop down box you can see all of these different appliances that you could put in um, a common question I get is well I just like to run my con computer off of a solar panel and I'd like to know how much that would cost for me to you know make a system that just did that and then I would like to scale it out later but first I want to start out small and hey that is probably the best approach that you could take so um, in any event computer okay and you can see that when we chose that option over here in the watts column it's 200 watts um, the average usage is 14 hours a week um, for a total of 2800 watts per week now you could go through and you could fill these in um, and choose every single one. I'm just going to do one to keep this simple for you. Um, now you want to choose the city that's nearest you because this is uh, pertinent to the amount of sun hours that you have that where the sun's going to be striking your solar panels. And uh, so let's go ahead and do well. Let's do Los Angeles, California. Okay, so you could see it put in 5.62 hours worth of sunlight per day. Now this is averaging out all of the winter months too. So during the summer that's going to be higher, during the winter it's going to be less, but it averages out over a year to 5.62 hours of sun per day. Um, so here's the total watts per week, and that's just taken from up here, carried down. Okay, then it goes through these different computations um, to calculate for an inverter loss you know because nothing is perfect you know you're going to have some um, loss of energy um, loss from the battery um, and uh, total amp hours per day you, you know a lot of this you you won't really need the the next important thing to put in though is the wattage of the solar panel that you're interested in buying now from what I've seen is that yeah the higher wattage solar panels cost more but they certainly are cheaper um, than buying a bunch of small ones um, so you know go for a big one um, they recently just came out with 300s okay so let's go ahead and do that one and here it's telling you that it's going to need actually less than two panels um, you probably could get away with doing one but we're talking about a hundred percent of the energy um, to run this not not some battery bank where it takes 10 or 20 percent of we're talking completely taking your um, household can computer setup monitor so forth off the power grid and running it by solar power so um, I would recommend that you do two panels here so it, it, it'll give you more than enough um, and you can see that if you were to build this yourself using the uh, do-it-yourself solar panel guide um, it is an a, a affiliate guide that I sell through this website um, if you were to purchase that guide and build this yourself that's all the parts that's the solar panel um, the con controller box um, the battery bank um, and the inverter everything two hundred and seventy six dollars uh, so you can see that's a pretty darn good deal and uh, you would make your money back fairly quickly uh, and 
that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. Of course, you can go back up here and really start to uh, put the things on. Like, let's say, for example, you wanted to run your stereo off of it. Well, you could see the stereo is about the same wattage. Um, and let's say you wanted to run a light bulb. And being the good green person that you are, you know that um, you're not to use in incandescent lights. So the fluorescent light, let's let's take the 60 watt one. Okay, and you can see it carried across. And as you scroll down, it automatically updates all these numbers. So now you're talking about four panels. See, when it's 4.2. I wouldn't worry about doing a fifth panel. Just keep it to four panels. And the total cost for the four panels, 300 watts, um, everything, comes out to be $640.32. Now, when I say the 300 watt panels, this guide will show you how, where to get the cheapest um, solar panels. Um, you know, So if they don't have the 300 watts that you can get, um, that that's fine. But the overall cost is going to be about six hundred and forty dollars to uh, do that and once again that's awesome that would be running you know these off of the solar panels completely off the grid and you'd make your money back pretty quick alright well that's it for this uh, solar power calculator tour and um, I hope you enjoyed this video and definitely stop by and use it at www.mysolarsecret.com slash blog and you'll see a link right off to the left hand side. Thanks for listening.